In this video, we will create our first conditional statement, which tests the visibility of the full description and sets the appropriate text on the text label, which is initiating the interaction. The use case of hiding the description body isn't quite right yet. The text label needs to show read less. So let's use a set text action to make this happen. First, we'll just move our body description control into place because it's not quite pixel perfect. Um, now we can use our existing case. So let's double click on it from the widget interactions pane. We could do the set text action first, but we have a fade that lasts 500 milliseconds. In Axure, actions don't queue up nicely waiting for the previous one to finish. They all fire at once. So if an action needs to wait, we need to tell it to do so. So let's add a wait action of 500 milliseconds first. You're now probably starting to see how order becomes important. So, let's choose the widget we want to set the text on. Now, the astute among you may notice that the widget that we want to set the text on is the same widget that we are invoking the interaction from. We want it to act upon itself. Well, an interesting development in version 7 is a shortcut. Instead of looking through all our widgets listed here, we can quickly check the this widget checkbox. This is a boon. As existing users will know, finding widgets in this list can be a nightmare. OK, you'll see that it displays the current text on the dialog, but we want it to change. We want to change it to read read less. So let's edit that. Let's hit F5 to see what it looks like. OK, so it changes our text. But did you spot the deliberate mistake? When we hide our paragraph again, the text is wrong. It should say, read more. So this calls for conditional cases. What does that mean? It means that we need to set up a simple statement. If our description body paragraph is hidden, then we need to set the text as more. Otherwise, if our paragraph is visible, set the text to read less. We're going to do that now. What we're going to do is duplicate our existing case and add the appropriate conditions with some additional modifications. But we're going to do our duplication after we've set up our first case. You'll soon see how this makes life easier. Let's open our first case. Let's name our first case appropriately. Make description visible. Next, we'll open the condition builder. New dialog for you here. This dialog is all selection of drop down, so you don't have to write any script at all. That said, you will have to get used to the way that conditions are built and have an understanding of some programming concepts. I think the condition builder has even defaulted to a certain condition for us here, but it's not the one we want, unfortunately. We want to test the visibility of our description body widget, so we'll look for this in the first part of the condition. Visibility of widget is what we're looking for here. The next part of our condition is stating the widget we want to test against. This being the product description body widget. We're checking for a visibility of false. We'll now click on OK. There's a part of this case that we need to alter now because it no longer works with how we are looking for two different conditions. The toggle. The scenario we are dealing with is when our paragraph is hidden, so we need to make it visible. Let's change this to show. OK, wait 500 milliseconds. Then set text to read less. OK. Let's test this with a quick F5. The 
that's working great. Now we need to set up the case condition which hides the product description. Okay, let's duplicate our case and make the necessary amends. We'll change our condition to work when our description text is visible, i.e. visibility equals value true. We don't want to show our description text but hide it, so we'll change this option. Wait action is the same. Change our label to read, read more. And let's update the case name to be more accurate. Hide product description body. Click on OK. And let's just test our logic. There we go, looking good. Now you're probably wondering why we didn't use an inline link for our control here. Unfortunately, the set text interaction doesn't work for inline links. So we need a little hack to finish this off. If we add a blue hyperlink color, it will give this control the necessary appearance of a link. Sometimes in Axia, you do need to do a little hacking to get things working as you would like them.